So the size of this unit is actually uh, for 40 users per day. Uh, obviously there is a lot of dead space because it's kind of you know our pre-alpha prototype so we need to walk around connect things and you know make measurements um, we we have here one of our electrochemical reactors uh, in the unit for field testing there are two electrochemical reactors so a total treatment capacity of 80 liters per batch uh, and the batch is about th uh, three hours uh, so what happens with the waste um, when you use the bathroom, the waste goes to a first um, like flow management tank here. Everything mixed. Yeah, everything mixed. Urine, feces, water, soap, Toilet you name it. Paper. Toilet paper, that's in the next phase of field testing. That's why also we, we like to go to India. <laughs> um, but we believe that with the, actually the, the uh, chlorinated uh, compounds, we, I mean, the, Active chlorine and you know hyperchlorous chlor. Uh, I am sorry, it's late in the day. Um, so with the active chlorine compounds, uh, there, there is uh, some breakdown, you know, on the toilet paper, and we also see, you know, if uh, like how it floats and how it how it's handled in the tank. Uh, so when the, someone flushes the toilet, all is grinded and goes to his first tank. From this tank, by gravity flow, it goes to a bigger tank, where in this unit is about the dimension for a retention time of 20 days. From this tank, it's pumped up by a macerator pump to this electrochemical reactor and then can go to a second one for polishing. Um, when it's finished, the water is pumped up and goes to uh, the flushing tank. So we got a closed loop system. You flush the system, there is the waste, the waste is treated, and then you can reuse the water for flushing. Um, we achieved this infection in half an hour of treatment. Uh, we don't see any bacteria. We do by different method, um, by plate counting, but also um, a PCR technique. And same for the viruses. We do a flow cytometry uh, technique, and we don't see any viruses after um, half an hour. So a safe play is uh, to leave the system running for um, three hours where you got um, discoloration uh, and generation of um, uh, disinfecting species. And the solids that settle out of the... Tank. So we've been the having the unit run on campus for six months and we treat everything from this tank and we also treat 10%, a mixture of 10% of the kind of sludgy thing we have on this one mixed with 90% of what we have in this tank. And everything is treated in, in three hours. But is there any solid sludge that has to be removed? Well, we believe that after maybe a year or two, yes. So that's why we're going towards field testing. But on the actual field testing on campus, we haven't seen any. Oh, because your macerator pumps? Yeah, grinds up, yeah. Yeah. Is there any uh, exhaust from the system? Well, the exhaust you got is uh, hydrogen that we are planning to use as either running it through a fuel cell, but that's for a Ferrari, Lamborghini, whatever version of the system where it's going to give back some of the um, energy through electricity. Uh, another idea is to just oxidize it and produce heat. Uh, or uh, mix it with uh, methane generated by this, uh, you know, during the anaerobic digestion in this tank and using it as cooking gas. You don't get any uh, sulfur or chloride? Uh we haven't, we thought we would get some um, H2S and uh, a lot of chlorinated hydrocarbons, volatile. And actually we haven't measured uh, significant amounts. We have third party analysis also confir confirming that. Same with the CL2. Actually, um, uh, when we generate the active chlorine, we are creating chloramines from the u uh, urea and um, you know the um, uh, hydrocarbons present, and we don't go all the way through uh, CL2 because of the uh, electrochemical um, electrochemistry driving towards uh, making nitrogen and um, uh, reoxidizing the chloramines. I still don't understand what happens to the solid part of the feces. Well, it's so like when, when it's grinded, uh, the, it's, there is a lot of particles that are in suspension and that we can definitely treat it by electrochemical treatment uh, because when you're creating hydrogen and oxygen, 
the, the bubble nucleation helps on breaking down any solids that would attach to the electrodes. So we, we run from you know, a brown solution where there is a suspended particles to something clear with no suspended particles. Without a second stream that is like a byproduct stream? No. No byproduct? No. Wow. Interesting. No, but the idea is to use you know, a first uh, like uh, 20 days retention where you can have you know, some uh, homogenization and uh, um, anaerobic digestion. What about fouling of the plates? Like so that's a good question. Um, we, on the recipe we're using now, uh, the lifetime we measured uh, from previous electrodes, having them on lab and using them once in a while, is more than five years. The estimated lifetime, we do you know, lifetime estimation on these new um, electrode arrays, and this is between three and five years estimated. A way you can recode them easily, so you don't need to, you know, throw that all of that away. You can acidify the cathodes, clean them up, you know, every uh, if if they are, you know, um, calcified. And for the anodes, you can scratch and recode. So no waste. It could be a way of uh, actually cal uh, calcifying and uh, collecting phosphorus. Yes. Yes. Just an added, added value. Yeah, but then you would have someone to scrape it, you know. And uh, depending where you are, uh, like if you are in India, for example, that doesn't have that much value because of the subsidizing of the, you know, synthetic fertilizer. It really depends on the on the market. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and this is where the energy is generated for this unit from Caltech. It's um, a solar panel tar paper. So instead of having big solar panels, they use this black material, which is, I can't really see it, but it's got like a structure. Um, so it's not just normal tar, obviously. And that generates the electricity that they need. And it's so almost invisible. That